This was going to be, well, it probably still will be, a very quick video about a very mundane and less than important or interesting module, namely this. Now, this is very simply, basically, a 12 volt regulator. AC in from here and full wave bridge rectifier here and a couple of smoothing caps on the output. There's no smoothing caps on the input, which is a bit naughty and some very low value picofarads basically across the main capacitors. But anyway, it is what it is. It was very cheap. Um, and the purpose of this video was going to, well, still is actually, to just see how regulated the board is and how much ripple is on it, this sort of thing. But I do have to say, I mean, it is very cheap. The reason I bought, I bought a couple of these is simply because I was going to make them myself because as you can see by the circuitry, it's not rocket science. But the fact that it's all on one board, does it, is it worth making it yourself? Now, one of the first things I notice is those small um, capacitors are insanely close to the heat sink and the heat sink will be at one of the potentials because there's no insulated washer on it. So that's a point of potential problems. What I've done, I've just connected the inputs here to a 12 volt transformer and that likewise not going anywhere. And the output for, should it be 12 volts DC from here. Now I've already switched this on and it's blown up. <laughs> uh, you'd think well how can something so simple? Initially I thought it was these capacitors maybe shorting to the side here but I'm going to show you the two modules side by side now and see if you can see the problem. Right here are the two modules side by side and I'll give you a clue. Have a look at the bridge rectifier. I'll show you in case you can't see it on here. Look at the slope on this one and look at the hard end on this one and the slope on this one. Can you believe with so few components they've actually put the bridge rectifier round the wrong way. And to be honest, I just didn't even think to check it because that clearly showed or shows that these modules, along with 99% of what you get from China, has never ever been tested. Because all I done, all I did, listen to my grammar, all I did was power it up and instantly I heard it and felt the heat sink and the heat sink was noticeably warm because it was only on for maybe five or six seconds just long enough for me to get the probes of my meter and put them in the um, output to see how accurate the voltage was so that's one of them that's a 50 percent failure rate so far and on this case i shall get my money back because it's the only way these people will ever learn. If it costs them money, then that will be the problem. Anyway, so let's wire up the other module, which the, the rectifier does seem to be around the wrong, right way. Right, this is the second module all set up, and I'm going to switch the power on live so you can share with me any explosions or <laughs> smoke. So power on, it hasn't gone bang. Let's just put the meter here and see what we've got. 11.99 volts. Well, that's as near as 12 volts as it needs to be. So that one hasn't gone bang. So that's good news. We'll leave it on for a few seconds and just see if anything's getting hot. Shouldn't be. 
but now I say that I'm, I'm nervous that they've actually put the electrolytics around the right way but uh, I think they are anyway we'll have a look at that and see if anything's getting hot just a quick note something I said before is not actually quite true on further investigation one of the capacitors is on the input side as the uh, straight after the rectifier and the other one is on the output of the regulator which is better but much better way of doing it right well i finished doing some tests and the basic verdict is it's a complete heap of crap let's have a look at some of the results with no load it does give 12 volts 11.99 well that's within the bounds of tolerance with a load of 640 milliamps bear in mind this chip it or this product is rated at one amp now i didn't expect it to do that but if it's a genuine voltage regulator of the correct type it is rated at over one amp but with the heatsink being what it is, I thought if it did regulate it, it should do, but it would get very hot. But when you put 640 milliamp load on it, the voltage drops to 10.64 volts, which means it's not regulating at all. Now, initially I was feeding this from 12 volts AC from um, another transformer, this one, this one here. And I thought, ah, it's losing regulation because there's not enough input voltage going into it at 12 volts AC. So I replaced it with this transformer and connected it to 15 volts AC, which should be more than enough to regulate at 12 volts. And it didn't make any difference except that the regulator and the heatsink got too hot to touch. So to sum up, um, well, it, it's not really any good for anything, assuming they even put the rectifier around the right way. I suppose if you're going to draw 20 milliamps or so, it will do, but it's clearly a fake chip. Has to be, and not tested. And there's nothing else left apart from two capacitors. Oh, incidentally, these terminal strips, they're also rubbish. I, I stripped one of the threads on those the first time I used it and um, I've had to uh, replace it with the one on the faulty board. So altogether, a piece of rubbish that is not suitable for purpose, but is very cheap. So I don't know that that's an excuse, is it? I think, sh think shouldn't things not blow up? Smoke is usually not a good sign, isn't it? Anyway, I should put a link on here but I think you'd have to be very foolish or like smoke to go and buy any from this or any of the other countless suppliers that make these boards up.